Okay, you guys, today is a very exciting day when y'all get to meet the puppy. That y'all maybe have seen, oh, he's such a sweet baby. He's a little sleepy right now, but today is the day you finally get to meet the puppy, which maybe you guys have seen on Instagram or on Snapchat. I have posted him just a little bit, but Dogman and I do have a new puppy in our lives. Technically, he is my dad's dog, but anybody who has had a puppy knows that puppies are quite a handful. So Dogman and I have been doing a lot of the babysitting duties in his wild puppy stage. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm gonna keep him in here right now. He is a little bit sleepy. I don't even have all the lights turned on because I'm not sure that all that is good for puppy eyeballs. Hmm. Is that good for puppy eyeballs? <laughs> Zeppelin. Come here, Zep. Hello. Sit. Sit. Oh, that's a good boy. We're learning. We're learning. Say hello, Swamp Family. Hello, Swamp Family. Let him see your eyelashes. So I have eyelashes that are white on one eye and eyelashes that are black on the other eye. Oh, I have a very unique little face. Hello. Hello. Zep. That's a good boy. I'm so distracted by a puppy to tell the puppy story. I have full lights on now. I don't even know if I said, hey everybody, it's funny. I feel like I've been putting, making this video, I feel like I've been putting off making this video for a long time, for a couple of reasons, but I feel like it is time for you guys to know about the puppy in our lives. So I guess some of the reasons why I haven't made this video is because I feel like purchasing a puppy is frowned upon by a lot of people. Obviously it's good to adopt. I feel like I'm quite an advocate, Dogman and I are quite an advocate for pet adoption. Dogman and I have had three adopted cats. So we had man cat, we had another cat named Max that we had a million years ago who was also a rescue. Um, and now we have Boris who is still with us. I just posted a very cute photo of him on Instagram yesterday, by the way, if you missed it. You missed it. I kind of know that that is a little bit of a controversy, but my dad wanted a Pomeranian and he saw this one, he fell in love with it, and it didn't come from like a puppy mill or anything like that. It came from a very nice lady in Florida. So we had him flown in the day before Christmas Eve. We just felt like he would be an ideal, ideal fit, uh, an ideal fit. That is what he is. He is a Pomeranian. Right now he weighs four and a half pounds. He's already doubled in size since we got him in December. So like I said, we got him the day before Christmas Eve. He is 15 weeks old now. And uh, since we've had him day before Christmas Eve, he's doubled in size. So when uh, we got him, I don't, maybe more than doubled in size actually, because I swear he was less than two pounds when we got him, and now he's like 4.5 pounds. Like I said, Dogman and I are babysitting him pretty much constantly right now uh, through his puppy stage. It has been a little bit rough and tough. I don't know if it's because like I'm kind of used to cats, and so I don't know that puppies can sometimes like scream incessantly. Um, but surprise, if you didn't know that, puppies sometimes scream incessantly. Um, he's really not that bad. We did have a trainer come in last week. He does seem to have a little bit of separation anxiety or something. Um, he definitely loves to be out and about and exploring and he seems to love the outdoors quite a bit. Like I say, he likes to be like out and about, um, but we kind of have to be careful with that because unfortunately this area we have like a lot of like not nice things for puppies. We have coyotes, we have hawks, we have all kinds of crazy stuff, owls sometimes, and I'm feeling like it's getting a little bit better now since he is um, gaining some weight, but definitely when we first brought him home and he was a teeny tiny little itty bitty puppy, uh, I was like, oh my god, hawks everywhere, hawks, vultures, we have it all. Maybe they're not called vultures from this re region, they're called like turkey buzzards or something like that, I don't know. I also don't know why once again I'm choosing to sit and film this video on a skateboard, 
but I am. If you've been following me on Snapchat and Instagram and wondering like, when are you walking a dog? What is this dog? And also if you follow my friend Sydney, um, she's been down visiting. We've been working on some new and exciting projects. And so she was posting some snaps of him as well. Also you guys, um, quick interjection about Sydney. I think that the Shorty Award voting is still going on. If so, she's up for a Shorty Award this year. It's very exciting. I hope she wins. She's one of my best friends in the world. Uh, so I'm gonna see if the voting is still open. I hope I haven't been so aloof as to let the entire voting period end. Cause I do, I have been meaning to tell you guys about that and I've forgotten every minute until just now when I said Sydney. Any other puppy facts? I'm waiting for him to get a little bit older, uh, but you guys who have seen him on Snapchat and Instagram and stuff have been requesting for me to test out some fun puppy products, but I'm giving him just a little bit of time to like, you know, grow up and live before I'm like, you're gonna be a star, kid. Uh, but I felt like I did want to make a cute little introduction for him. I love my hair today. Are you guys loving this? I almost want to film like another video because I'm loving this so much. I just wish my hair would do this all the time. It's so messy. It's just like effortless mess pile. And I'm really into that. You guys still see this giant like zit? Oh my God. I had like a double zit on the side of my lip the other day and it was gargantuan it was not attractive it was like oh and it was so painful i felt like all weekend i was just crying and trying to pop a zit on my mouth it was a great fun time also dogman and i marathoned uh curb your enthusiasm i had never watched that show and we literally watched all nine seasons in two days it's a great funny, hilarious show. I think it just came back. I think Leanne recommended it to me years ago and it looked really boring. Um, no offense. And then Dogman put it on the other day and I was like, oh, this is actually funny. Well, you guys, it's kind of one of those days, I guess, where I'm like just talking about random stuff now. Came to show you guys a dog. Ended up talking about a bunch of other stuff. So you guys will definitely see appearances of him actually started an instagram account for the dog i thought maybe momentarily i would be one of those people we'll see um and i'm sure i'll like type it in the screen somewhere because i do have a lot of adorable puppy pictures and puppy moments to post his name is zeppelin we call him zepp for short i feel like that's a lot easier to say than like zeppelin come here but he's named after one of the greatest bands of all time, Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin does have a song about a blue-eyed Merle dog. And so, <laughs> it's a Merle. He's not blue-eyed, but I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell in the video clips that I shot, but one eye, white eyelashes. On the other eye, black eyelashes. I don't know if maybe it'll change when he gets older or if he's always gonna have like black eyelashes, white eyelashes, but it looks pretty fantastic. I think he is supposed to be a blue Merle. I don't know if there's only blue Merles or if there's like Merle, but you can have different colors in a Merle. <sighs> like so confusing, everything that I'm saying. I don't know much about dogs. He has definitely been a lot of fun and it's fun. I don't know. It's like Boris goes on walks with Dogman and I, but like you don't, I don't like some people definitely do put cats on leashes. Some cats are okay with that. Um, Boris is like his own cat. So he walks behind us. He walks with, or he'll like walk behind us and then he'll run in front of us and then we'll catch up to him. He'll stop. And then like, he just constantly like runs kind of like with us can't put him on a leash um but it's just i don't know it's kind of it's like a different experience to like actually walk a dog on a leash in a forward type motion i texted leanne the other day and i was like oh my god we should have a play date with like luna and zepp and it would be fun to see like would they get along or would they bark at each other I don't know. Once again, I feel like I'm kind of like waiting to do the super fun puppy stuff until he's like, um, you know, just a little bit older. I don't want to just be like, Bleh, like just throw you into the world. This was kind of a weird video, but can't miss a day of, I almost said vlogmas, um, vlogging times it is. I think the next video should be a lush Valentine's video. Cause Valentine's is like quickly approaching 
every year I do this and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna like start filming Valentine's Day videos in January and then I never do. I never do because I'm worried about January and January and then I've got February and February, but let me know, would you guys like to see more puppy-ish videos? Leave me some comments down below if you've seen some cute puppy items that you would like for us to test out. Probably gonna like give that a little bit of time, you know? Um, and then we'll do some puppy videos and it'll be fun. But I at least wanted to make a little introduction today. But thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. Obviously, once again, I'm not trying to argue with anybody. Like, I obviously have nothing against adopting pets. You should definitely adopt pets. There are a lot of animals out there that need homes. I, frankly, there's a lot of kids out there that need homes. I mean, definitely, I just say, like, get the pet that's, like, most right for you, you know? Um, whether you adopt or shop. I hate when people like start arguing in the comments. Do you know what I'm saying? So maybe don't do that. I don't know. Undoubtedly by me saying that people are gonna argue in the comments. What am I gonna do? Also I'm just heavily distracted by this. <laughs> Why is this so funny to me? This is how you can tell I'm so tired. I feel like I love doing everyday vlogs when we do everyday vlog months but I feel like also I do lack sleep entirely and I become delirious where stuff like this is just hilarious to me. It's the Impress Nails which I love so much and I never notice on the back of the packaging. They have a diagram of what's the right and wrong way to wear these fingernails. Do you guys see this? This is the greatest thing I've seen in the last five minutes. Like, <laughs> I just want to see what that would feel like, honestly. I'm actually in the mood to chat, so I'm probably just going to film a video for Banana Peppers right now. So if you want to hear more insane ramblings from yours truly, check out Banana Peppers. It's my vlog channel. It's my second channel. I almost said it's my number two channel, but... That's not a great way to phrase that. Um, so it is my second channel where I do lots of vlogging, talking, unboxing. Come hang out if you want more talking. But that's it for today's video. I don't feel like there's any clear conclusion. Stay tuned for more puppiness. I hope you like puppies. I like puppies. Um, I also like guppies. Ta-da! I'll just wheel myself out. Bye guys! Oh, I can't wheel far enough.